This video is a work of fiction and just for fun. It is not intended to hurt anyone. The following video is a head shave fantasy story for people who are hair fetish. Valmiki envied Ramachandra because he married the daughter of his boss. Driven by greed and envy, he orchestrates a baby switch at birth to ensure his biological son, Raj, inherits wealth and status, while Ramachandra's son, Bantu, is raised in poverty and subjected to Valmiki's cruelty. Many years later, Bantu, unaware of his true lineage, crosses paths with Amu, an ambitious woman engaged to Raj but secretly embezzling funds from Ark. Amu manipulates Bantu into a romantic relationship to divert attention from her crimes, using him as a pawn in her elaborate scheme. However, a twist unfolds when Valmiki experiences a change of heart and confronts his past misdeeds. At a lavish party, he exposes Amu's treachery, revealing her embezzlement and manipulation to the shock of the guests, including Bantu. As the truth comes to light, Bantu realizes he has been used and deceived by Amu, his trust shattered and his heart broken. You thought you could steal from us and get away with it? Valmiki spat, his eyes burning with rage. You will pay for your sins, Amu, and you will pay dearly. Amu's heart sank as she realized the gravity of her situation. With nowhere to run and nowhere to hide, she stood before Valmiki, her hands trembling with fear as she awaited her fate. But Valmiki was not content with mere punishment. No, he wanted to humiliate Amu, to strip her of her dignity and her pride in front of everyone she had deceived. With a cruel smirk, he motioned for two guards to step forward, their eyes glinting with malice as they seized Amu by the arms and dragged her towards the center of the room. The guests watched in stunned silence as Valmiki's plan unfolded before their eyes. With a swift motion, he motioned for a servant to bring a bucket of water, the liquid sloshing ominously as it was brought forward. What are you doing? Amu cried, her voice desperate and pleading. Please have mercy. But mercy was not to be found in Valmiki's heart. With a cold smile, he motioned for the guards to hold Amu in place as he upended the bucket, the icy water cascading over her head and drenching her to the bone. Amu gasped as the cold water soaked through her clothes, sending shivers down her spine as she trembled in the grip of the guards. And then... Before she could even comprehend what was happening, Vomiki motioned for a barber to step forward, a gleaming razor in his hand. This is your punishment, Vomiki declared, his voice cold and unyielding. For your crimes against this family, you will be stripped of your dignity. You will be shorn of your beauty. Amu's heart pounded in her chest as the barber approached, his hand steady and sure as he raised the razor to her head. She closed her eyes, unable to bear the humiliation of what was about to happen, tears streaming down her face as she braced herself for the inevitable. The sound of the razor against her skin was like a death knell, each stroke sending a shiver down her spine as her long, luscious locks fell to the ground in a tangled heap. Amu sobbed uncontrollably as her hair was shaved away, feeling as if a part of her very identity was being stripped away with each pass of the blade. And as the last of her hair fell away, leaving her head smooth and bald, Amu knew that she would never be the same again. She had been stripped of her dignity and her pride, left with nothing but the bitter taste of regret and the sting of Valmiki's unforgiving judgment. She felt exposed and vulnerable, laid bare for all to see, and in that moment, she knew that she would carry the scars of this night with her for the rest of her days.